Wandering of an afternoon through the Welsh countryside, the one animal I absolutely would not expect to encounter would be an ostrich. So why the Prince of Wales chose to use ostrich feathers in his insignia is a mystery to me, but he did, and in the process gave his insignia's name to this tree. This is Brachystigia bohemi mufuti, the Prince of Wales feathers. How's it guys? I'm Gus, the African plant hunter. I am here on lockdown getting very stir crazy out for a walk in the Miombo woodlands just outside my house and I thought I'd start by showing you this beautiful tree, Brachystigia bohemi. Mufuti is a very, very handsome tree. One of my favorite trees in the Miombo landscape. Beautiful tall tree up to about 15 meters. Often has that classic kind of African flat top look. Looks a bit acacia like with these lovely feathery leaves. But it is very distinctively, once you get to know it and you see it from a distance, you know straight away that's Mufuti. Continuing a theme from the other dwayans of the Miombo woodland, the Msasa and the Mnondo, the Mafuti also has a bark that is used to make beehives, uh, to make bark cloth, and perhaps the most common and well-known uh, use of it is torn into strips, chewed, and then twisted around to make string. Very useful thousand uses for string in the bush, and you always know that you've got string handy if you see one of these trees. Okay, three main medicinal uses traditionally from this tree. Uh, the first one's from the roots, which are ground up and put into hot water, and the subsequent inhalation breathed in to calm an agitated patient. If someone is really agitated, you put it into a hot bath, and then just put them into the bath, and they will calm down, allegedly. Uh, the second one, uh, similar to the uh, Brachystigia spiciformis, the Masasa, the leaves are used uh, as a snake bite remedy, topically applied. And then the third one, also from the leaves, a decoction from this is consumed internally to ease back pain and indeed menstrual pain. So there has been quite a bit of pharmacological research into this tree and interestingly what they found is a little bit different from the traditional knowledge um, and in fact it relates a little bit close, more closely to what the traditional knowledge would lead us to believe would be the case with Msasa. As I said Msasa hasn't been well researched so I expect that the pharmacology of this tree would be quite similar. So what's in here? Well, in the stem there is uh, proanthocyanidins that have strong uh, antioxidant activity. In the leaves there are alkaloids that have been shown to have a pretty effective analgesic impact. And then in the stem bark there are flavonoid cardiac glycosides that are associated with antidiarrheal activity, which of course, although it's not part of the traditional knowledge for this tree, is exactly what the traditional knowledge tells us to expect from the Masasa tree. So in my opinion, a little bit of research has been done. There's a lot more to do and I think it would make some really, really, really interesting work. And a couple of final closing features of this tree that I particularly love. One is the beautiful, in common with the Masasa, the beautiful russet color that you get during the spring flush. Really stunning. The other one is it's very prone to honeydew. So I used to take my kids walking along right here actually, uh, again in springtime, and they would run their fingers along the new leaves and there was this little sticky substance and they would go, mmm, oh dad, what's that? I'd say, oh, that's called honeydew. Mmm, honeydew, yum. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from an insect, a scale insect called Aspidoproctus. And they would go, mmm, where does it come from exactly? I'd say, well, it comes out of the scale insect's anus, but hey. And they'd go, ugh, dad, gross. Anyway, I thought it was funny. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. This is lockdown for me. I'm sure it's lockdown for you too. But don't worry, there's plenty more if you like that. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Till then, I will see you later. Take it easy. Bye.